If you watch my last video, then you'll know that one of the reasons that English pronunciation is so difficult is because it contains lots of features which don't exist in many other languages. However, not all languages are the same, and speakers of some languages are likely to find English pronunciation easier compared to speakers of other languages. This is usually because their native language contains some of the same pronunciation features as English. So of course, this begs the question, which language speakers will find English pronunciation easiest? Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ed and I help people to improve their English pronunciation. So which language speakers will find English pronunciation easiest? To answer this question, I'm going to look at 13 of the world's most common languages to identify any similarities or differences which are likely to make English pronunciation more or less difficult to learn. With nearly 1 billion native speakers, Mandarin is by far the world's most common language. That means over 10% of the world's population speak Mandarin. But unfortunately for that 10%, speaking Mandarin won't help you to pronounce English. That's because there are lots of features of English pronunciation which don't exist in Mandarin. In fact, there are too many to list here, but Mandarin speakers will struggle with many vowel and consonant sounds, as well as consonant clusters. Mandarin is also a tonal language, so Mandarin speakers are likely to struggle with English intonation. Spanish is the world's second most common language, with nearly half a billion native speakers. But unfortunately, Spanish speakers are likely to face many of the same challenges as Mandarin speakers. So Spanish speakers will struggle with many vowel and consonant sounds, as well as consonant clusters, rhythm and aspiration. Hindi is the world's fourth most common language, with approximately 345 million native speakers, and it shares some surprising similarities with English. Hindi has many of the same vowel sounds as English, but Hindi speakers may still struggle to distinguish the open vowel sounds a, a, and a. They may also struggle to distinguish the v and w sounds, as well as the th, th and r sounds, which most people struggle with. Despite these similarities, Hindi has a retroflex setting, which means the tongue shape is different compared to English, so Hindi speakers may struggle to speak with an English setting. They may also struggle with stress and rhythm. Arabic has around 310 million native speakers, and although there are lots of different dialects of Arabic, most Arabic speakers will struggle with English vowel and consonant sounds, as well as consonant clusters. However, Standard Arabic is one of the few languages which contain the f and th sounds, so some Arabic speakers may find these sounds easy. Stress, rhythm and aspiration may also be problematic for Arabic speakers. Portuguese has approximately 236 million native speakers, and it has a relatively complex vowel system compared to other Romance languages. However, Portuguese speakers may still struggle to distinguish the open vowel sounds a, a, and a. They may also struggle with the ch, j, n, and h consonant sounds, in addition to the th, th, and r sounds. Aspiration may also be problematic, and rhythm may also be problematic for some Portuguese speakers, depending on their dialect. Russian is spoken by approximately 148 million native speakers, and it has a relatively simple vowel system, so Russian speakers may find English vowels challenging. However, they should find English consonant sounds a bit easier, with the exception of the th, th, r, j, n, h, and w sounds. Russian speakers may also struggle with aspiration. 
Japanese is spoken by approximately 123 million native speakers and it's phonologically very different to English. So Japanese speakers are likely to struggle with English vowel and consonant sounds, especially the L and R sounds, as well as consonant clusters. They may also struggle with English stress and rhythm. Vietnamese is spoken by approximately 85 million people and it's also very different to English. So Vietnamese speakers are likely to struggle with English vowel and consonant sounds. Vietnamese is also a tonal language. So Vietnamese speakers are likely to struggle with English intonation. Turkish is spoken by approximately 84 million people and Turkish speakers are likely to find English vowel sounds challenging. Although Turkish speakers should find English consonant sounds easier, they may still struggle to distinguish the V, W and N sounds, in addition to the F, V and R sounds. They may also struggle with consonant clusters. Korean is spoken by approximately 81 million people and Korean speakers will face many of the same challenges as speakers of other East Asian languages. So they're likely to find English vowel and consonant sounds difficult, especially the L and R sounds, as well as consonant clusters. Korean speakers may also struggle with English stress and rhythm. German is spoken by approximately 76 million people and it shares many of the same pronunciation features as English. Despite this, German speakers may still struggle to distinguish the open vowel sounds a, a and a. They may also struggle to distinguish the v and w sounds in addition to the f, v and r sounds. French is spoken by approximately 74 million people and it's had a big influence on the English language. Although French shares many of the same vowel sounds as English, French speakers are likely to struggle with English vowel length. They may also struggle with the ch, j, n and h consonants, in addition to the th, v and r consonants. French speakers may find English intonation and aspiration difficult as well. Finally, Italian is spoken by approximately 64 million people and Italian speakers are likely to struggle with English vowel sounds. However, they should find English consonant sounds a lot easier, with the exception of the th, th, r, n and h sounds. English stress and rhythm may also be challenging for Italian speakers. So, after all of this, which language speakers will find English pronunciation easiest? Well, I think it's kind of obvious, but German speakers are likely to find English pronunciation easiest. And that's because they're both Germanic languages and they share many of the same pronunciation features. Speakers of other Germanic languages such as Dutch and Danish are also likely to find English pronunciation relatively easy. It's also worth noting that Hindi, one of the world's most common languages, contains many of the same sounds as English. So Hindi speakers are unlikely to find individual sounds difficult, but they may still struggle with suprasegmental features, such as setting, stress, and rhythm. Now, if your native language pronunciation is very different and you struggle with English pronunciation, Remember that I have an online British English pronunciation course which can help you to improve your English pronunciation. I've put a link in the description below. Well, that's the end of the lesson. But which language do you speak? Do you think your native language has similar pronunciation to English? Or do you find English pronunciation difficult? Let me know in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching, goodbye.